First thing you should know about us is that we wear a lot of different hats. Uh, Tamara is a cook in her family's restaurant in New York City. She's also um, an illustrator. She works for The New Yorker and The New York Times. Um, she's an author and has published two books of nonfiction. And she's also a graphic designer. And Jason's a photographer. He uh, is a Guggenheim Fellow and still shoots film. He's also a publisher. He runs a nonprofit press called JNL Books that publishes artists and writers. Um, he's a graphic designer. He designs most of JNL's books. He's also a master editor and gives workshops all over the world and at Haven. Um, so we have different um, uh, interests and projects, but sometimes they overlap. And we think of our relationship like a braid that grows like this, and sometimes we grow independently and sometimes together. Uh, our first collaboration was on our wedding, which took place in a makeshift boxing ring and ended with a black eye. Um, we really value each other's feedbacks and we act as our directors uh, for each other and we're not afraid to be critical with each other. Um, our sensibilities play off of each other. For example, Tamara loves vaudeville humor. She loves to solve puzzles. Um, and so she wants her audience to have like eureka moments, but she makes them work for it. And Jason loves, uh, Jason loves abstraction. He's always got a philosophy book uh, and he has this knack for making work that's really enigmatic and unexpectedly beautiful. Uh, so the Whitney Museum of American Art invited us to make a series of books for children. And the idea is that the books will introduce young readers to um, various ways of looking at and appreciating art. It was a really fun challenge for us to think about why we love looking at art and what we've learned from looking at art and sort of breaking it down to these building blocks. Uh, we've been inspired by teachers like uh, Joseph Albers, um, Karita Kent, Bruno Munari. Uh, these people who, for, for them, uh, the idea of play was an essential part of the learning process. So. We want children to learn from these books, but we don't necessarily want them to realize that they're learning. So we've designed these books as toys in a way. Um, and the first two books in the series are about color. And the first one's called Find Colors, and it's about finding color in your own environment. And so it's a book about color, but there's no color in it. It's up to the, the reader, the kid, to find it. And so uh, you take the page and then you try to fill it in. Uh, the second book in the series, These Colors Are Bananas, is about looking at color more closely and about variations of color. Um, in a way, it's also about rethinking stereotypes. So, for example, clouds are often white, but uh, look again in a rainstorm or at sunset. Or what about a cloud in the middle of the night? So it's a book about looking, um, but it's also uh, sort of a book about making art. If you think about like how a painter chooses to, to pick a specific color, to depict a, um, a subject. So the pages on the right are these kind of palettes of potential colors you could use to make the subject that's um, presented on the left page. Um, and the third book is A Pile of Leaves. Uh, it's called A Pile of Leaves and it's primarily about collage. And this pile of, of leaves acts as a collage with different layers, but it's also about colors and shapes. And it's also about um, trees and how to identify leaves. So the fourth book uh, in the series, Art This Way, is literally about um, looking at contemporary art. So Tamara and I picked eight artworks from the 23,000 works in the collection of the Whitney Museum. Uh, and we present them all in this book. Uh, each one uses a different um, book production device to highlight some aspect of that particular artwork. This is just a dummy of the book right now, but I'll just give you an example. So it says, open up, look again. In these screen prints by Andy Warhol, the flowers stay the same, but the colors change. And so each of the artworks does something different in an interactive way. Um, the overall message is that there are many different ways to appreciate art. For example, color, scale, um, the artist's intention, the reader's life experience or imagination, um, the backstory of the artwork, all of these things. Thank you.